Good day kids, here we are again with another episode of our home economic 6 learnings, today, we will discuss about classify tools and materials according to their use, measuring, cutting and sewing, dot. At the end of the slam, you should be able to classify tools and materials according to their use measuring, cutting and sewing. I am your teacher, James Christian URBAYO, and I hope you would listen attentively with the discussion I have prepared for you. So sit back, relax and enjoy learning. Sewing is a skill which every member can learn through constant practice. Learning how to sew for the family is a fun activity if you try to learn and take an interest in it. Sewing is a fun hobby, but it can also be a source of survival or a way to raise family income. In sewing, there are different tools and materials to be used. We have measuring tools, cutting tools, and sewing tools. These tools and materials are classified according to their uses. Tape measure, made of cloth or plastic and used for taking body measurement. Ruler, used to measure and draft lines on a fabric or pattern. Metal gauge, measures short distances, and correct thickness such as distance between buttons, pleats, and hems. Hem gauge, used to measure the correct hem of the cloth. French curve this tool used for drafting curves in the pattern of the arm, neckline, and crotch. Meter a yardstick, used to measure fabric. Taylor square, used for the correct measurement of lines in the right angle. Curve stick, used to have accurate lines and skirts. Cutting tools and their uses. Embroidery scissors, small scissors and designed for needlework. Dressmaking shears, big scissors, and used for cutting fabric. Pinking shears, scissors with serrated blades or zigzag edges used for cutting fabric edge to prevent it from fraying and traveling. Light trimmer, used for small cutting, this tool has one point blunt to prevent the fabric from snagging. Bent handled shears, shears with straight blades. Sewing scissors, used for trimming seams and facings.
Thread clippers, used for snipping thread. Seam ripper, used to open seams as well as other detailed work. Stitch ripper, made of metal used to remove stitches. Sewing tools and their uses. Needles has one sharp end and a hole at the other end to make the thread pass through. Long darners, long thick needles suitable for mending for mending holes in heavy fabric. Cotton darners, fine points, used for darning, suitable for delicate yarns, beading needles, very long and fine, with a sharp point. Curved needles, used in mattressing and upholstery works. Ball point needles, rounded point, used between knit yarn fibers, straws. Longer needle than between, used for tacking, tapestry needles. Strong thick needles, suitable for working tapestry, embroidery cruel needles, sharp, medium length needles with a long eye, glove or leather hand needles, round eyes in triangular point, suitable for piercing both leather and strong plastic fibers. Pins, used to hold pieces of fabric. Glass pins, easy to handle, lace pins 1 inch long, T pins, stay in position open weave fabrics, safety pins. Pin cushion, made of varied materials such as cotton, it is used to keep needles and pins when unused. Thread, used for stitching clothes, comes in different colors and thickness. Emery bag, similar to pin cushion, but with rougher content to sharpen the tips of pins and needles to prevent from getting rust. Needle threader, to all in inserting the thread into the eye of the needle. Thimble, small, durable, protective cap made of metal or plastic, used to protect the finger from being pricked when pushing the needle through the cloth. Activity time, direction. Read the sentence carefully. Identify what kind of tool or material describes each sentence one. A small tool made of metal and used to remove stitches two. A sewing tool used to hold pieces of fabrics three. A tool used for snipping thread four. This tool is used for taking body measurement five. These big scissors are used for cutting fabric six. It is used to keep needles and pins when unused seven. It is strong thick needle, suitable for working tapestry and needle point projects eight. These scissors are used for trimming seams and facings nine. This is used to measure fabric 10. These small scissors are designed for needle work.
Remember, sewing is a worthwhile hobby but it can also be a means of livelihood or a way to augment the family income. It is an enjoyable hobby. In sewing, we have different tools and materials to be used. These tools are classified according to their uses. Measuring tools, cutting tools, and sewing tools. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, James, or Bayo, for more educational videos. Till the next upload. Thank you.